there, there's this process. We are continually freed from the power of sin through that sanctification. That's what's, So sanctification, what it's doing is anyone the same person they were years ago when you first came to Christ. And if you are, don't put your hand up. The, the sanctification process, it's, it's freeing me from the power of sin. In other words, it's freeing me from the power of strongholds. It's freeing me that no longer does this have an authority in my life. It doesn't say that we're not going to struggle with sin or have sin to overcome, but it's freeing us. That's, that's what's happening. Sanctification is making us to become more like Christ. That's the outcome of salvation. That we're becoming more and more like who he is. So, so we're continually in that sanctification process. We're being, we're being delivered from a power of sin. And our sanctification will be complete in our glorification. By the way, glorification is when we close our eyes and open them and we see Jesus. We are fully glorified. And that's exciting news. That's awesome news. But Jesus asked the same question to Bartimaeus. He says, what do you want me to do for you? Bartimaeus' request is rooted in humility. See, his heart had already come to believe. It was in that time sitting on the side of the road, searching for truth. It was the time sitting on the side of the road, feeling hopeless and destitute, alone, isolated. It was sitting on that time on the side of the road where he began to contemplate these incredible stories about the one they called Jesus. His heart began to change. His heart began to move. And I think when Jesus asked him, what do you want me to do for you? I think the request was for his heart to see, not so much his eyes. That I would know you. That I can find salvation in you. That you could redeem me. Jesus said it was your faith that made you well. So that means it was a work in his heart before it was a work for his eyes. And his faith made him well. And because of his faith, his eyes were healed as well. Jesus healed him. And then what happened? Immediately, he followed after Jesus. Paul writes in Romans chapter 10, verse 9, simply this. He says, if you declare with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe what, church? In your heart, that God raised him what? From the dead. What does it say? If you believe in your heart. That's Bartimaeus. <laughs> he believed in his heart. And then he proclaimed with his mouth, and he didn't care what anyone thought. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. And what's the promise? He was saved. 33 years ago, that's the prayer I prayed. 33 years ago, I gave up my blind spot. Nothing the world promised me was fulfilling the need I had in my life. I've never done anything half measure in my whole life. And what happened in that moment was I encountered Jesus. You know what I encountered? His love for me and my blind spots. Exactly the way I am. He didn't whisper in my ear, son, when you get it together, come back. He said, I love you, bumps and bruises and all. And I desire a relationship with you. 
His Holy Spirit came upon me. It moved in my heart. There was a warming. There was a sense of this is the real thing that I've searched for. And in my heart, without any words, I already said, I'll follow you. Thus began a journey to make him the center of my life. Jesus is our salvation. He offers forgiveness, redemption, and eternal life through his death and resurrection. Simply put on a neon sign in the middle of Times Square for everyone to see this reminder. Jesus saves. Amen.